Okay, uh, CLO thoughts. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, so I waited a little while to get this video out. A lot of people have asked for it. Um, I waited a little while just because I wanted my full thoughts on this. Uh, I've done quite a few of them. I think even people in the comments were like, yeah, I was doing a CLO with with your tune, Slowpoke. I may be going over this entire fight, um, and then we'll just kind of have the... Uh, Oh, well, the end of the video will be a discussion. Um, so, funny enough, the the one I choose to record, and uh, this isn't a solo, don't worry. The only reason I went in alone here is just to get the cutscene because everyone skips it. Um, you know, when you go in with, you know, random people now. Um, and I didn't want to make people sit through it if they already saw it and didn't want to watch it again. But anyways, so my gut reaction, I guess we'll just talk about the phases one by one. Um... This cutscene, I really like. I really like a lot of the, um, what's it called? A lot of the, like, cinematics in this. I I only bothered to record the first one, um, because I think it's probably, it's the best. And hey, if you want to see the other ones, uh, I guess there's probably other places where you could just play the game. Um, <laughs> a lot of people have probably seen it. I kind of even debated pu even putting it in, but I really like this one. And I wanted to point out here... I found this really funny. Um, you have the, you know, you have the CLO who basically is like, "All right, I'm gonna. What should we do with these tunes?" And the bottom feeder. Oh, also, yes, there's new cog designs. The bottom feeder is like, "Oh, okay. What we're gonna do is we should just take their gags." And the C CLO gets really angry over this. Um, I, I've, honestly, if I was writing that, I probably would have had the bottom feeder say something like, "Oh, let's let's play some trolley games with them." I mean. If we lose this fight, all they're going to do is take our gags anyway. Um, <laughs> but anyway, first round is a cog fight. Oh, I bet you didn't see that one coming, a cog fight. So this is actually tied for the most rounds of any Toon Down boss fight uh, with four, same as the CEO. The What's interesting is I think this is probably... I don't think it's my favorite Toon Down boss fight. Um, it's definitely better than the CJ. I guess we'll get into that later, though. Um, so, this is definitely, I think, the most well-thought-out Toontown boss fight, though, honestly. You definitely get the sense they really thought things out um, with this fight. This wasn't something that was just thrown together in, like, two seconds. There was a lot of work put into this, and you can tell. The coding, like, the coding in this seems really good, too. I haven't really encountered any bugs or errors or anything with this fight the only one I, that can come to mind is there's kind of a graphical error uh where like your sound gag is like y your tune keeps holding the sound gag even when you're done with the fight that's kind of weird it's not really a big deal though i mean all you have to do is just log off and log back on um so yeah um uh, also I, for anyone who doesn't know yeah slowpoke this is my main tune um <laughs> On Corporate Clash. So, I, I my favorite tune type, if any, for anyone who doesn't know, is actually the fat dog with the bump on its head. I absolutely love this tune. Um, so, yeah, that's usually what I go with. That's what Unicorn was. That was... Also, my... Oh, wow, that's getting into weird TTR. Well, weird channel lore now. But um, I, I used to have a tune on Original Toontown that was a fat dog with a bump on its head, too. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just kind of what I go with. I guess right now, well, while you watch this COG fight, I will just kind of talk about some of these changes that they made with, uh, Corporate Clash. So, the D, the D office, DA office, well, the D, the actual D office is gone, I think. I think there's only a C office now. The only thing they did in there is they kept, I think they kept everything the same, um... I know there were some changes that Clash did to the the offices before, and those changes are still there, so besides those, they made two new puzzles. I think they're like, I think one of them's like, they call it Connect 3, which that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then there's one where there's like numbers that are like going down and you have to like stop the numbers. That one's kind of cool. Um, they're both cool. Uh, they also changed the hologram cogs, but we'll, we'll get into that later in this fight because the hologram cogs actually have to do something in this fight, so, which is really cool. Um, for the new cog models, definitely the most divisive thing in this update. 
And I don't know. So yeah, this is when it starts like going completely south. Um, lure misses. And yeah. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> basically the, um, the cog models have been pretty divisive. They're definitely a different type of style, but honestly, I always thought that they really fit in with, uh, they, they fit in with the Toontown style. Like it's, they're definitely not the like base style. Well, I don't know if that's even fair to say, because I feel like if Toontown was made today, I mean, could I conceivably see Cogs looking like more like this? I mean, Toontown was made so long ago. Also, this is so cool how the Cogs literally fly out of the portraits. Um, so yeah, they're all fully animated. Um, the Spin Doctor's terrifying. That seems to be like the main consensus. When you ask me, um, you know, it's kind of weird, honestly, where, like, I like them, but I, it, it's, it's, it's so weird. Maybe, I think one thing that, one issue that I'm having in here is, yeah, Lure misses again. One issue that I'm having is, I'm, is, I'm just so used to Cogs not having, like, animations in their faces, so it's just kind of weird for me to look at them. Um, but in terms of, like, the actual, like, animation... And the modeling, I think they're all pretty good. Um, when it comes to my favorite one, I, maybe Legal Eagle? I, I like the normal Legal Eagle, too, um, quite a bit. When it comes down to, like, the Spin Doctor, though, that thing definitely should have been changed. Um, I talked about this in a, I think, in an upcoming video. But, um, that hasn't, that, I've, it's been, like, pre-recorded. But the Spin Doctor, the old Spin Doctor model is literally just an upscaled, uh, telemarketer model, <laughs> so <laughs> that they turned like green and gave a. Uh, I'm blanking on what the heck they gave it. Anyways, but yeah, um, I really like the bottom feeder. The bottom feeder is great. The legal eagle is great. Those are probably like my favorites. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably about it. As you see here, um, all oh, right, with my tune slowpoke. For anyone who doesn't know what I was doing with this, this thing's not a semi. Don't worry. Um, the way that clash works is you basically have um training points right instead of going through the playgrounds uh you basically getting more gag tracks the you basically get more training points as you just like do anything it can be you know you just do a factory and you get experience and then you level up and you get a training point and you can invest that in um a new gag track so the thing i did with slowpoke was this tune isn't done with Toontown Central because there is still a main task line. It's just not required. This tune isn't done with Toontown Central, but it is almost maxed in Cell by HQ. So pretty much all my training points, um, I haven't unlocked them yet. So that's why I only have four gag tracks. So yeah, don't worry. This tune isn't um, isn't like a semi or something. My, my next gag track I want to get a squirt. Uh, because part of the joke of this tune was like, oh, okay, because he's slowpoke, he's got to have like... A bunch of things that slow pokes do and he doesn't have water gun yet so that's kind of depressing because he's you know a water type okay so this is where things like completely start going wrong is lure misses and like i said um i've done this boss fight like seven eight times at this point um and this is the first one i decided to record and it's really funny because i was like okay the main point of this is for me just kind of discuss this fight you know, the footage is pretty secondary in the, in this video. Um, but the first one that I literally record, I almost go sad in the, in the cog fight, which I thought was really funny. So yeah, I end up using Unite right here. Um, and I'm like, all right, yeah, whatever. I'd use Unite, but it's fine. If I, you know, I just need to get the footage for this fight. Um, also one interesting thing about tune up in this game, tune up, you can basically, basically prestiging is like the organic, um, of this game and but it takes up like one of your skill points um and the equivalent of like prestige tune-up is really really good um it heals you by half so that's that's why you know it, it's almost like it's always kind of a good thing to be the healer in this game if you have a prestige tune-up so what we end up doing is okay this guy goes ahead and uses a high dive to heal us so i'm like all right yeah that's gonna be good i'm gonna be fine but then, we like, all right, let's use sound. Oh, sound misses. Um, and yeah, and then the cogs attack us again. 
which is, uh, yeah, that's not good. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm out of tune-up unite. I, I don't have any tune-up unites. Also, 134 is the max laugh in this game, so that horse is the max a tune on this game. So he ends up using a tune-up unite, which saves me. So thank you for that. I know I said thank you, but thank you again. So I actually got the footage of this. Um, I didn't have to go in another one. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, this went completely, completely wrong. And I even end up saying here, yeah, I end up just using Toon's hit to get through this because I'm so done with this. I'm like, yeah, no, Toon's hit, we're done. I need the footage. Uh, let's just get through with this. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'll cut away until the next round. So round two is... Uh, a cannon round, but a much, 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 much better cannon round. The cannon round in the original CJ was honestly a pretty cool, like, concept. Um, you know, incorporating, like, the cannon, like, the cannon minigame um, into, like, an actual, into, you know, like, an actual boss fight. I don't do the best here in this one. I think the highest I've gone before is Awuga. I don't do the best here in this one. So basically, that whole concept of this is you basically just have to hit the cogs that are flying around. This definitely has a learning curve to it. Um, I have heard people who have been, like, really, really good at this. Um, and I've heard people who have been really bad at this. I don't really know the main strategy when it comes to this one, basically, I was just kind of um, firing my cannon, like, all over the place um, and just aiming later. Um, I don't think that's the best strategy, though, because I didn't hit that many cogs. So I think it's, like, the better strategy is just aim anywhere or just aim at an area with a lot of cogs and then basically, you know, push your tune into them. So, yeah, it's weird. Um, I really like it. Uh, another thing is the sound gag you get definitely, especially if you're not that great at this fight, definitely, definitely helps. Um, I've been in CLO fights where things really go self in the boss fight, in the boss like round. Um, and Trust me, you do not want to have a bugle in that situation because you can't do any damage to the cogs and you can't, uh, you can't really defend yourself. I guess we'll get more into that in the, in the final round though. So yeah, another thing is you don't really get anything if, so like with, in this round where I don't do, um, I, I do very poorly in this round, in this, uh, in this recording. So... I don't know how they would really implement this. It would be kind of cool, though, if they had, like, some way that you could actually, like, where it would actually, like, benefit you if you were, like, almost at a Wooga because it's like, okay, well, then, then why did I, why did I even try? Um, that's really honestly, though, it's probably, it's fine the way it is. Um, so second, second, uh, well, this is third phase, phase number three. They use... You basically have to fight the holograms, the new holograms. So these are the new holograms, too, when it comes to the... If you set off, like, a puzzle in the office. Also, this horse right here, um, he uses a new reward, which is basically a a cease and desist, which I think uh, on the panel it, it comes up as Sue when you use a cease and desist. And I remember I was asking him here because... Even though I've done this fight multiple times, I've never actually seen anyone use one. And basically, as far as I'm aware, it's just a really, really good stun. Now, my gut reaction was that was pretty worthless, but it shows in this fight how how good it is to use because you have so you have cogs that are like abnormally strong in this game. If you see right here, the level 16 doesn't really, can't really do anything. And we can just use sound on all the other cogs and the damage will just stack up on said level 16. So it's fascinating. I don't know how good it will really be in the long run. I don't know how many uses it's really going to have, but we'll see. Also, 
as you can see. You don't have to wait for these cogs to explode. And their health is basically shown by the color of the entire cog. So like when it's orange, the whole cog shows orange. So that's that's really cool. And I think that's probably about it for this second cog fight. I think that's, yeah, probably about it. This cog fight, or actually, this is actually pretty funny. Um, I'll show this part and then we'll cut away to the final round. And then I will talk about, you know, like final thoughts on this fight and everything. So, okay, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I think we were kind of scattered this round, but it didn't really matter. Because, hey, look, oh, wait, no, okay, this guy's just healing me. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, look, I just got healed. And then we, uh, this guy uses the trap door. So, yeah, um, don't use big magnet because it misses again. Literally everything misses. Uh, again, hey, I guess that what ha that's what happens when you actually record. So it's pretty funny. And yeah, I think that's about it. We survived this fine. So yeah, I think that's about it. So yes, I will. Actually, how well do we survive this? I actually want to see. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. He just uses it on the horse. Okay. So yeah, final fight. Let's talk about that. All right. So the first thing I want to mention here before I actually talk about like the mechanics are one thing I think is really cool about this fight about this phase of the fight is how they went with sound as well sound and trap if we want to be really precise so basically the resistance person puts down trap and you have to use sound to push the CLO into said trap and I think that's really fascinating because we only have had I so we've only had I think an original Toontown what is it I think um throw and then uh, Squirt have been the, I think, yeah, have been the only, are the only two in original Toontown that you use in any boss fight. So yeah, basically the premise of this is you have to lure a cog over, make it explode near the CLO, and then you can push it back with, you can push the CLO back with sound. It's a fascinating concept because you do kind of expose yourself to danger when you do this. Because a lot of cogs will come flying towards you. When it comes to... I think I think they tone this fight back a little bit. Or actually, I think kind of a lot. Because I remember the first few times I fought this boss fight. It was very, very hard. And I don't think it comes from just like the tier. Um, I, I, it's, I think it's a lot easier now. Now, I don't know... Personally, I think I liked the harder mode. I, definitely, though, it's... That's probably like a personal preference when it comes to someone like me, just because I I I'm just kind of amused by hard Toontown Town in general. Like I don't I don't really care if I go sad in a stupidly hard boss fight. I think one one of the big issues with the hard mode, I guess, is what we're just gonna call it for now. I haven't done a like max tier of these. Uh, maybe I could give you my thoughts on that if you guys really want after I do one. But um, one thing that. I kind of ran into is you would get hit kind of unfairly in the before they like nerfed this because there were just so many cogs flying around that you really it was just kind of, it was just really hard to see and the cogs move kind of fast and this, and this is what I meant when I said if you're not the best at this boss fight it can be very difficult to defend yourself against the higher level cogs so if you only have Bugle and you're not very good at this boss fight, it can be very, very difficult. Because, oh, okay, like you have like a level 5, even like a level 5, you're going to have to hit numerous, numerous times. But if you have like an elephant trunk, you know, you can do a lot better. So yeah, I, this fight really makes me wonder. Because I know they've teased like a chairman boss fight numerous times in the past. It really makes me wonder if they're going to do something like that where there's, like, more gag tracks. So it's like, okay, technically we have, like, squirt and throw. Um, and now we have sound and trap. So I don't know, like, what? Lure? I don't know. Could you use lure in some way? Or could you use... Uh... <laughs> Tune-up would be fascinating. 
that would be really fascinating if you had like a boss fight that does like a ton of damage. Also, one thing I wanted to point out is two non boss fights always follow said formula, and this boss fight kind of breaks that formula. I don't know. I guess we can discuss that. You tell me if you agree or disagree in the comments. So basically, every two non boss fight, the VP, because there's eight players in said boss fight, these boss fights were designed with four players doing one task, four players doing another task. When this comes down to the VP, the four players doing one task are obviously four players trying to stun, four players trying to throw the cream pie at said VP. Um, again, the VP is not the best example of that because a lot of the time what ends up happening is, you know, you have like one stunner and everyone else just throws pies and the stunner even will come back and help you throw pies. Um, the CFO is probably a better example where you literally have four craners and then you have four people stomping the goons. The CFO kind of forces you into that. The CJ, you know, four tunes, the half your team. It's, again, though, even though these fights were designed with this in mind, I, like when you view them, they, a lot of the times they completely devolve into something else because with the CJ, you're pro you're not going to have four people stunning. Then, of course, the uh, CEO, you have a ton of golfing stations, and you have a ton of, um, what's it called? A ton of golfing stations, and you have a ton of the seltzer bottle one. So, you know, if you even those out, four and four. This boss fight doesn't really do that. I think it's fine doing, doing it this way. I will say, and the VP also kind of runs into this problem, where... It is quite easy to get a stun off. So when you have really competent players with you, they can basically, as we did in this fight, they can basically get a stun off really, really, really fast and have the fight end pretty fast. And I don't know if that's necessarily like a design critique or what. It's more of just an observation, I guess. Because I've been in runs of this where everyone is pretty, uh, pretty bad at stunning like myself included. So yeah, as you can see, I guess you could maybe argue this fight does kind of follows that same rule where I guess you could say like, Oh, you know, the other tunes can destroy the cogs for like treasures, but I don't know what they would add though. If they wanted to have like another, you know, another, the tunes doing something else. So this is another thing I want to point out about this fight is basically I thought for sure when the C when the CLO was talking here I thought for, for sure everyone was going to pull out their sound gag and push and push her in but she just kind of falls I wonder if they tried doing that but it just doesn't look very good or if it was I don't know uh, cuz I just thought that was like a perfect way they could have ended it but um I don't know anyways overall thoughts so it's fascinating because this is the like actual first time Toontown has ever gotten a new boss fight. Oh, and you see, I get the that sound glitch right there. First time anyone has ever really, really made a, a. I know Clash has like mini bosses and things like that, but those are like cog instances. Um, when it comes to like actual like an actual boss fight, though, this is the first time anyone has ever made it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm really glad they did this. There's, I think, interesting discussion when it comes to should they have remade Law About HQ or not. When you ask me, uh, it, it's it's a it's a weird conversation. I almost feel like in the long term, this is going to be something that's going to benefit them a lot more. Uh, it's no secret that I absolutely despise the uh, CJ. I think it's a pretty, it's, I, I think it's a terrible boss fight. Um, I think it's an interesting design, but basically terrible execution. Interesting design. Well, I don't even know if, if I would say terrible execution, I would just say like, it's just not a fun boss fight in general. Like the, the actual gameplay, it's an interesting concept, but it's that obviously doesn't like work out when it comes to the gameplay of said boss fight. So I'm all for, you know, if we're going to remove any boss fight, definitely 
remove the CJ. But I almost, you know, part of me almost wonders if it would have been more productive to, and this is what I, this is what I mean by I think this will benefit them a lot more in the long run. I don't know how well this is, you know, I don't know, I don't know how good it is like in the short term though, because a lot of players, there's no real incentive for a lot of people to fight this boss fight right now. Um, if, if you've maxed, you know, your Lawbot suit, that carries over. Um, so I, you can fight, you can fight the boss for the new reward, but. I don't, I feel like it's, we're, we really are running into the issue with Toontown where I don't know if we should even have, like, yeah, okay, 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 oh, now we're going down this rabbit hole. <laughs> if, if you're going to have, if you're going to replace the CJ, obviously you need, like, a an actual, like, gameplay reward. But I'm really of the mindset, and if Clash has something in mind for the chairman fight like that will benefit gameplay like I'm all for it but I think we're kind of getting to the point when it comes to like re with rewards where I really think original Toontown probably had the right idea and what TTR is going to do for field offices where it's like yeah the main reward is just going to be like you can buy special items and we're you know it's basically like we're Basically, Toontown, Toontown Online's whole thing was like, yeah, we're we're going to be done with, like, COG rewards. I think, I think Field Offices, and I could be wrong, they, they might have, they might have added these if the Lawbot Field Offices ever came out officially, but I, as far as I'm aware, they originally thought, like, okay, we're going to, you're going to basically earn, like, medals that you can redeem for, like, exclusive things in the catalog. I'm honestly kind of to the point where I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, ready to throw in the towel when it comes to thinking of new rewards. Because cease and desists, I think, are cool. I don't know what else you can do, though, besides that. Um, like I said, if they have something in mind for the chairman... But I feel like the chairman should probably have a different type of reward that's, like... I don't know. I mean, my main thing... I, I know it's a cop-out just to say, I don't know, give you give them something, like something exclusive I, I i guess there is uh again that's like a whole other thing though that I, I thought of something but if i talk about that i should probably make another video about it so yeah and that's another thing that i don't know about this fight is again much better than the cj and i don't know the numbers for the cj i'd actually be really fascinated if like anyone was fighting the cj <laughs> in corporate clash <laughs> because if like zero if like if the CJ wasn't having, like, any... If it was so hard to get, like, a CJ fight and it was, like, nearly impossible to max the CJ just because it was so hard to find a group on Clash and that was, like, one of the main reasons they were like, okay, we're just gonna, like... We're just gonna redo the CJ fight. It's not like anyone likes it anyway. Uh, that could be interesting. It would be so hard, though, because I, I, I did kind of think, like, maybe they could have added this fight as, like, a branch of Law about HQ and had it be, like, okay, you can get, like, five more laugh points from doing this fight, and we'll still have, like, the CJ here. On the flip side, though, I really do like how Clash is kind of embracing that it's, like, a different flavor of Toontown. You know, where, like, okay, if you want to fight the original CJ, you gotta go to TTR. And if you want to fight the C CLO, you got to go to Clash. I do really like that, you know, how, how it, it's like a complete different flavor and how it's it, how it's really kind of morphing into that, especially at the new COGS. When it comes to, like, what's next for Clash, I would guess maybe the chairman? I, I don't know. I, that's probably still a while off, though. I know people have discussed, like and ask them if they are going to redo, like, the other HQs. If you ask me my thoughts on that, if you're going to remake anything, make remake the back nine. Oh, my God. And preferably, and this is just, I, I, I talked about this a lot in Factory Ditching, this is just my opinion, I would make it, like, a actual, like, dungeon. Not one that just repeats. Not one that's, like... A, uh, not like the Mint, not like the D office. I would want it like a factory, like where it's like, okay, we're actually going to like sit down and make like 
a really cool COG dungeon that's like completely original. Or well, I shouldn't say completely original. You could reuse assets. I just really, really do not like the randomizing, the randomizing that, you know, Toontown Online went where you had the factory and the factory, in my opinion, is probably like the best thing in original Toontown. But then the Mint, and the D office is probably the second best dungeon in Toontown, in my opinion, because you do have a lot of cool things going on there. You have like the puzzles you know, for how annoying they can be, they really are a cool, you know, mechanic. It has, you know, it has, like, the giant goons, which are really cool. It has a lot of the weird stomper rooms, which are also pretty cool. Even though it is, you know, kind of, like, thrown <laughs> everywhere. Um, so, yeah, the D-Office, some people were disappointed they didn't re remake the D-Office at all. I, I was initially... But when I actually thought about it, I was like, well, honestly, like, I, the factory, I obviously wouldn't remake the D office. And if, you, yeah, I, I just don't think it's, I just don't think, yeah, I just don't think it's a good, it, it would, it, I feel like their time would be spent doing, doing something else than remaking the D office because something like boss spot HQ, oh, that would, wouldn't that be so cool if they, if there was like a, you can do so much with a country club, right? Like, that, that's one thing that with Boss by HQ is I was like, why? So, like, this is, like, supposed to be, at least in original Toontown, Boss by HQ was supposed to be, like, this is it. This is, like, the finale of Toontown. And the finale dungeon before the finale boss fight is literally, like, a run-down golf course. Like, really, guys? This is what we're going with? So, I, I mean, we kind of have, like, a cool, like, country club, like thing going on in the CEO boss fight. I don't know. Maybe it'd be kind of cool if you had like a, if they did something where it was like, we're going to like th where they take that concept, but they really like go crazy with it. And it's like, okay, we're going to have this, like, what's like, what, what would cogs actually do? Like in a, in a country club or something. I don't know. The, the mint, I think would, could have some really cool ideas because there's nothing for like, like cash bots like come on come on come on i feel like that writes itself where it's like <laughs> where it's like the mints right now they don't actually like print the money well i assume they print the money but you don't actually like see any of that where in like sell by hq you actually have like rooms like oh okay this is like the oil room where the oil I, i'm i'm completely going off on a tangent this is like a tangents tangent but yeah, overall thoughts, I think it was really cool. Um, it really makes me excited for whatever... I'm assuming they've been working on the chairman fight for a while, probably just like in the background. So I I wouldn't I wouldn't expect that anytime soon. I'd be very interested in what they're doing next. Uh, if you ask me again, I, I would say... I would say redo if you're if they want to redo anything I'd redo the back nine and in my opinion I would just like completely I would completely put that dungeon in the trash <laughs> I would not reuse anything for that <laughs> I loathe that dungeon so much um I no yeah remake it from the ground up and I I, I would I would say and it wouldn't have to be too long anyway if you like people might get on on my case like oh well if they if someone were to make, like, a huge, like, new COG dungeon, like, oh, I would it have to be as long as back then? No, man, you can make it as long as, like, the factory. Uh, who cares? Uh, Corporate Clash is streamlined so much anyway. I don't think, like, what? What? Is anyone going to be mad at them removing, like, the, the most hated, like, hour-long dungeon in the game with, like, a 15, 20-minute dungeon that's, like, brand new? Anyways. We'll see. Um... Uh, people ask me uh, to play Clash. I, I, I'm i all for, you know, talking about Clash when there's, like, things to talk about. I just don't know, like, th there's a reason why MMOs usually don't have that much, like, community content when it comes to, like, YouTube. Because they're not, they're not the best things to make content for, obviously. And I, I've said this multiple times, but I'm pretty lucky in the sense that Toontown Rewritten, when it comes to that game, 
and I, you know, when I'm a troll on that game, there's so much I can do on that on with Toontown Rewritten. When it comes to Corporate Clash, I can talk about their new content. You know, there actually is new content, but it's really hard for me because I, I don't even know what video I could make. You know, if I wanted to make another Corporate Clash video, um, you know, until they actually update again. And I, I'm I'm not really saying that in the in the way like I'm not saying that in a way to be like oh okay, Clash has to update more. No, I'm saying that in a way it's just like I don't know what I could do, um, what I could really upload. So yeah, let me know if if uh, if there's anything specific about Clash. If you guys really want me to, because I know there were quite a lot of updates that Clash have, has done that I've been aware of, but I didn't really do like a deep dive into if you guys really want me to do you know more clash things in general let me know i could i could probably keep up with it a lot more than i have been so yeah i think that's it uh if i missed anything let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this boss fight i think it's really cool um oh my god i just really i would can someone please create i don't care who it is just like a cool cog dungeon <laughs> I know someone in the comments was saying in one of my factory ditching episodes that they were like, wow, you're like, you're inspiring me to create like a cog dungeon. Hey, that'd be cool. You can always send it to me. We could put it in the art channel of my discord. Anyways, I think we're, uh, I think we're done here. I've rambled on way too long. So yeah, let me know. Uh, we'll see what clash does next. Also, uh, factory ditching is also going to be up today. My, with my current upload schedule, clash content, if I do any more in the future, in, you know, recent, uh, TGR content will follow later in the day. Anyways, so yeah, these are bonus videos. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later.